Hello and welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of Two Cam Plays and welcome to another toy review. So I was at Target the other day and I discovered that there is a new series three of the Mystery Mutters. Now they still have plenty of the series one with uh, Gravedigger and uh, Blue Thunder, but uh, they they also had some of these Series 3s that were stuck behind the Series 1s. I think they're trying to get rid of the Series 1s first. I get it, but uh, <laughs> we're only interested in the Series 3s. They were Max D and uh, Son of a Digger. So we're going to start with this, the Max D here. We're going to get him nice and wet. I'm super stoked about Max D, and William is a huge Son of a Digger fan, so he's super stoked about Son of a Digger. All right, our first Mystery Mutter here is going to be, looks like original Max D kind of silvery body, which is cool. Now, some of these can be hit or miss, these Mystery Mutters. This one is a, a hit for me, man. I like it. I like the purple outline on the flame right there. And uh, Maximus looks really cool. So we've got this uh, orange roll cage, sorry, yellow roll cage, orange chassis. I really like this. The, the orange and yellow match the fire going down Maxi really, really well. And of course, all the Mystery Mutters have these brown kind of tires. I like the Max D in the front. Max D maximum destruction. Of course, you know, this, this mud just gets all over the place. I kind of have to use my finger to get rid of the mud. Get out of there. <laughs> but yeah, the, you know, the graphics are crisp and clear. You know, Spin Master is doing a really great job with the graphics. Max D maximum destruction. Tom Mintz on the side. I gave it another quick dip in some fresh water just to get some of the mud off of it. And now you can see on the side there is the number MD01. I'm sorry, MD102. So Max D body one variant two. And that is Max D. All right, let's get to the other Max D. Here we go. A little ASM bar tearing it open. All right, let's get it dipped in that water. Get all that mud off of there. Nice. So William really likes the way that it feels when it's in the water. He says that it, you know, kind of, it feels like mud, obviously, but he likes the texture as it's coming off. I, I haven't actually had the pleasure of being able to get one of these clean myself. William, don't get water on the table, dude. <laughs> All right, so it's starting to reveal itself. It looks like it's a much darker color this time around and more like a Max D black. I'm digging this though. Ah, all right, give it a quick rinse and here it is. Nice, I like it. Okay, so there's the code MD204. So Max D body two variant four. And this one has got the, uh, the chassis and the roll cage reversed. So we've got the orange roll cage with the yellow chassis this time. I like that, I like that a lot. M Max D, maximum destruction, Tom Mintz on the side. I like the flame, no purple outline this time, which is fine. I actually really like this more, more of a uh, traditional Max D, but with the black instead of the silver on the body. I'm totally, totally digging it. And again, of course, we've got the muddy tires, the muddy brown with the tires in the rim. Here's the first Max D. I didn't quite get a good shot of the uh, code, so here is the code one more time. MD102, and then this is MD204. So those are our two Max Ds. And here they are side by side facing off with each other. And you can see how they uh, they inversed the chassis and the roll cage on each of the different body styles. Again, I really, really am happy with these two. All right, moving on to Son of a Digger. William is so excited about Son of a Digger. Come on, pull it open, bud. <laughs> oh, he was telling me that there's a, a QR code on there. We did scan the QR code, and what it does is it leads you to the poster for Series 1. Uh, apparently, they haven't released the poster for Series 2 or 3 yet, so there's no way to check and see all the different variants for Series 2 or Series 3. Series 2, of course, was El Toro Loco and Dragon. I'll put a link up in the top right corner to our um, unboxing for Series 2 for Dragon and El Toro Loco. Both of those turned out really well, as I think, as well. All right, here is Son of a Digger. So this one is a little teal color. Not too bad. It kind of goes along with, uh, with Son of a Digger. 
getting it nice and clean. You know, all the nooks and crannies on some of these, it's kind of hard to get it off, get all the mud off. Eh, there's a little bit of mud residue left. Let's give it a quick rinse in the faucet, under the faucet. And then we'll come back and take a look at it. There it is. Okay, this is SD204, so son of a digger, 204. There is scrap right there on the back. And I really like the graphics. The graphics are super sharp and really nice looking. I don't know if I really like the way that they look uh, with that baby blue or teal background. It, it just kind of stands out too much. We do have a purple roll cage. I'm sorry, a purple chassis and a silver roll cage. I do like the silver roll cage with the purple chassis. But again, you know, like I said, the uh, the printing, the graphics, I just think that they don't look quite right on this baby blue body. It's just something about it makes it stand out too much. There's the headlights. They almost look like they're misprinted a little bit. They're off center. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Overall, I like it. I like what they're going for with it, but um, there's just a few things where I'm just like, mm, maybe they could have done it differently. All right, moving on to the other son of a digger. Here we go. Yeah, get that open there. <laughs> a little bit more ASMR time. Hey, come on, get it open, William. <laughs> He's got it. He's got it. <laughs> All right. This time, William just said, hey, let's just run it under the faucet and not mess with the uh, the bowl of water. And I said, OK, that's fine. <laughs> so under the faucet, we went and it definitely moved a lot quicker. We got it cleaned a lot quicker. This is definitely a more of a traditional son of a digger with the black body. And we've got a blue chassis. Hey, while William continues to scrub off Son of a Digger, do me a huge favor, smash that like button. It does help get these videos out to more people. It lets me know that we're doing a good job and that you want to see more toy review videos like this one. All right, and here is Son of a Digger SD108. Son of a Digger Body 1 Style 8. And there is that chassis and roll cage. You can see it's kind of like that purpley color. I like it. I dig it a lot. It's, it's almost a black, but it's really, really dark purple, actually. I dig it and didn't quite get all the mud off of it. <laughs> now, uh, scrap looks about the same, but then the Son of a Digger logo, it's got kind of a maroon or a purpley red color or on the outside of it, the outline, and the haze over the scrap heap here is also that same maroon uh, purpley color. I kind of like it. I kind of like it a lot, actually. But again, it just doesn't mesh with the blue flames. Like, I think if they would have made the flames maroon, then it would have worked, but it, it didn't quite. These headlights look like they are printed properly, so I like the way that it looks on the front there. Everything looks great here with son of a digger. All right, and here is all four of them put together. I do, overall, like I said, I like the mystery mutters. I think they're kind of hit or miss, but this one, I think all four of them were hits. I like them. They're great additions to our collection. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as we enjoyed making it. Be sure to check out the video that you see on your screen right now. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And hey, we'll see you guys on the flip side. Later!